I think that sometimes some of y'all women really don't understand how territorial men are. That's biologically how they are. It's different if you were covered up, but baby, you got titty tape on. <laughs> so yes, of course, a man who knows how men are going to look at you, knowing that there's going to be men who are going to be predators or going to pursue you, he's right for saying that. That's not meaning that he's insecure, he's territorial. That's a man's nature, that's absolutely okay. It's your responsibility as his woman to understand his nature and to also have boundaries with yourself. Knowing what you are exposing yourself to, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna be quick. I'm so glad I can have conversations with my husband because I asked him, we had a deep conversation. I said, what is it about women that will make you not wife her? And the first thing he said, the way she presents herself. That's coming from a man. Men will take that if you dress provocative, they're going to see you as an object. If you dress sexual, they're going to see you as an object. Stop calling men insecure. That is their God-given right to say, I don't want my woman to present herself out here because not only is she a representation of me, she's a representation of herself. I need to see how you see yourself. I know we always talk about women's empowerment. Dressing like that is not women's empowerment, baby. You can try it all day long. That's mm. not, there's nothing empowerment. Dang. All right. uh, what do you <laughs> think about that? So we got young men in the building. Do you agree with, I guess, her husband? Yeah. Cool. Completely, <laughs> Twit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm young. I'm 28. I've been married six years, though. Okay. Um, and I say uh, 100%, you know, uh, especially when she says a man looks at, even if they're not married yet, if, it, uh, if you as a man are considering um, dating and you understand that you're dating to eventually marry and that's what you're looking for you understand that the woman that you with is a reflection of you mm -hmm. you know and that's a big thing mm -hmm. you know and so I'll be honest anyone that I've seen who's been with someone who dresses let's say promiscuous um, it's because that's they was they how can I put this that what they own that what they own bro. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean like Okay, if she moved like that, that's okay because I might not mind if she do something with somebody else because I might benefit from that in a way, you mm -hmm. know. And, <laughs> and nowadays, they ain't, they ain't pimping. It might be Mac or whatever you want to call it, but <laughs> that's how they move. You know, I'm okay with that. It ain't that, it ain't that serious, you know. And they might marry too and still move like that, you know, because nowadays you got Polly and all this other, okay, that's Man. fine. But when you look at I guess what you would call a traditional marriage, right? Uh, a biblical marriage. Yeah, um, why is it that Jesus says he's coming back for a spotless bride? No cap. That's not for no accident. Yeah, yeah and if we understand that we are a reflection of, of him as his children, then yeah, she, she says something when she says it's in the nature of man to mm -hmm. To want a woman that carries herself a certain way, mm -hmm. yeah. but you reap what you sow, dog. Mm -hmm. That's what if you reap what you sow. You're gonna get what you're looking for yeah. at yeah. the end of the day. <laughs> so if you if you want a man of God, a man of God gonna know. I don't want my woman going out like that. Exactly. But if you want a player, a player gonna know. I want my woman looking going around looking like that. You're gonna reap what you sow at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. women women are very intelligent. So. If you know half the time a dude gonna look at you like you for the streets when you wear a certain kind of outfit, now you gotta defend yourself. I'm not like that. I just like to look good. Like, mm. why put yourself through that? You gotta defend yourself everywhere you go. Men not taking you serious. They trying you like a thought. Like, what you? <laughs> why, why don't you just say, you know what? Let me just wear something modest. Now, I know some yeah. women have certain features to wear. No matter what they wear, it's gonna accentuate their features. But it's one thing between being naturally just boom. And then I'm just gonna make sure I got it for sale or I got it for show. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how I gotta look. Like, yeah. that's not somebody you wanna say, oh man, I'm gonna take them home to meet my mama. You know what I'm saying? And you might be a, you could on the inside be a great chick. You might be wholesome as a mug, but on the outside looking in, judging yeah. the tree by its fruit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You look like a thought. So we're not gonna. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just being honest. It's I, like if a dude come out here and he dressing all, you know what I'm saying? He got the tight muscle shirt song trying to do the more. They're like, mm -hmm. oh man, he trying to. He doing too much. It's the same way the other way around. So like you won't be taken seriously. Your appearance, how you carry yourself, it matters. I think that, I'm gonna say this. I think the reason why, if any woman is watching this, um, the reason why what she said was so on on point is because you end up putting that man in harm's way. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that's, I'm saying that's that, underrated. I'm saying that's that right. is because yeah. when y'all out and he's walking with you and and dudes are just saying random stuff. 
to yeah. her, yeah. and he and she and you look at him like, what you gonna do about that? No, we let her protect. You going you you, you want to protect your woman? Come on. But man. the question is, do you love him enough to be like? I don't want to put that pressure on him. Now, I'm not saying men are, aren't men and men don't do foolish stuff because men are just, yeah. we do dumb stuff. But at the same time, limit the dumbness, I would say, <laughs> limit the dumbness from a guy to approach y'all while y'all out because if you if y'all out and you basically got see through stuff on, you got me in the blender. You got that dude going to say something to you and yeah. I'm going to have to fight that dude. I'm going to have to get that dude or I don't know if he pulls something out. It may be a rap, but I think at the same time, it's like if I love you enough to be like, yo, I love, I love him enough to be like, you know what? I rather, I rather be, I rather dress modest and keep him out of harm's way than always trying to do something foolish. It, it shouldn't have nothing to do with the guy you with. Mm -hmm. you shouldn't be dressing like that ever in your life. Um, this should be a relationship with you and God. And you should know what the Bible says about how you dress. Mm -hmm. It's for guys too. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. should be your only standard. It doesn't matter yeah, if yeah. you're dating or not dating, married or not married, look good, don't look good. Like, yeah. it's the, you're not supposed to do that. Sometimes, period. though, from what I hear from women, they say about other women, I don't know, I'm not a woman. You know what I'm saying? But what they say is sometimes if a woman is gets desperate enough, she'll start doing what she, she lonely, she to desperate. Attract. She trying to, so she'll, she'll throw the bait out there with the outfit and stuff, but you got to understand, you know what I'm saying? If I'm fishing for bass, I know what I'm going to use, you know, so if I'm mm -hmm. fishing for whatever. Exactly. So, so yeah. if you, if you wearing, if you throwing that kind of bait out there, the kind of men you're going to get, well, I doubt that's the sure, man. Well, but what are you, what are you desperate for? Your, right. your desperation should you. be for your life to reflect God's character. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you feel you're getting desperate, that you you can't go reaching a bag of things that God said not to do to get the blessing that you're looking for. Yeah. It's never gonna yeah. happen. You're never for, gonna get it. For um for the for people in the comments saying what are women at in perspective, I think for the ladies, you should hear this from men, godly yeah. men that are telling you fact. this is yeah. this is something my, majority of us is married. That <laughs> Jerry Wild. I think I think that you should get the wisdom from a man to say, "Hey, these are the precautions of dressing the any way you want to dress. Mm -hmm. These are some of the precautions that you'll put a man in danger. You'll get that 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 now you'll get that attention that mm -hmm. you shouldn't want to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but and it be it be counterproductive, bro. Yeah, that's the thing. Like half the time they don't understand that. A man of God will see that and run from you. Mm -hmm. Anybody gonna take you serious, man? Like and, we don't even want you. That. Want the other? You want the opinions of other women? Not to disrespect what you're saying, but you want the opinion of other women. You ain't dating women, <laughs> so I hope not. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you dating men, so we tell you what we see. Yeah, and and, and I think that's a larger issue. Like we tell y'all what we see. We're not trying to tell y'all now. We're not trying to say, hey, you're less yeah. than or anything. If you want to know why you ain't got no man or your man looking at you a certain <laughs> kind of way, who the best person to ask? A man. Let, Let me ask y'all something on. though. Why do y'all think in 2024 this is such an issue? And the reason I say that mm -hmm. is when when you go back to like I don't know the 60s or something, right? The average woman understood that, meaning they knew a woman would tell you, uh, you know, the old mama. Oh no, nah, she a hussy or mm -hmm. something yeah, like that. Slip mm -hmm. under right, that right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you understand? <laughs> but now in 2024, it's like uh, you have the the women who are dressed this way, but then you check a bio and it says she got some scripture in there. Oh, uh, she's a woman of God. Oh, uh, whatever the case is. So it seems like the line has been blurred. Um, what do you think caused that it's, confusion? It's making them money. It's I, making I, them money too. You know, like with Glorilla. Glorilla said this a couple of weeks ago that um, every man cheats, right? And she was like, I know the guy that I'm looking for is, my, is is a cheater, you know? And it's like, well, if you're putting yourself out there, any dude watching your video and enjoying that is going to be, you're going to attract that type of person that you're going to get. He's going to be a cheater. He's going to be a dog. He's going to be somebody that is um, looking for the wrong thing. Well, there, I think that's what I was going to say. There's a problem here. There's a, there's a misunderstanding. I think a lot of women hear this and they think, oh, these Christian guys that I want, they still want that. They still want to see women yeah. dress like that. They just don't want their wife to dress like that. No, that is not true. If somebody is really serious, you don't want to see nobody look like that. Right. I don't. I, don't, I yeah. if if that comes across me, I'm like, what? 
What is going on here? Yeah. They, if you're trained to to protect your eyes yeah. and to make sure you're not yeah, right. lusting after women, these are God's daughters. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at anybody like that, hopefully, right? So I think there's this idea that, oh, they want me to be covered up, but they want her to be uncovered. I, no, I do not. I don't want anybody <laughs> to be uncovered. <laughs> yeah. no, literally nobody. You saw yeah. Aja Reese. She came out recently. She said she don't want to be over-sexualized. And immediately after she made that statement, every time you see her, she got less clothes on <laughs> It's it's because there's this idea, and we I remember when we were at Radio One, mm. there there was a young man I won't say who he is, but he just did not believe it was possible for men to be faithful. Mm. He didn't believe yeah. it was even possible. He thought that we were lying yeah. when we said that we were saving ourselves from marriage. He he thought we were lying. He thought it was impossible, and I think a lot of women believe it is literally impossible to find a man who thinks this way. They think we're lying right now. Yeah, <laughs> they think that we're just saying this for show. <laughs> we literally do. Not not want you to dress like that young lady there there are people who are looking for godliness mm -hmm. if that's what you want out of a man you have to display it because we will look past you I'm gonna say it's this just too. that's it and, and and to be totally real most dudes you on Instagram you scrolling through your timeline or something like that you see some stuff like that sometimes you're gonna look at it you know what I'm saying just be, just be 100 you're gonna look at it but you're gonna keep on scrolling that ain't what you want, though. That's what I want you to say. Because women to say, nah, most men, they, they know that's what they want. They just lying. They just front. You're going to look at it because you're a man. You're a straight man. You see a certain, you know what I'm saying? You see certain things. You're going to, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? You're, gonna, you're on your explore page or whatever. You got to clean that out. But if you're on your explore page, <laughs> Tell the truth. you know what I'm saying? You're going to scroll past it. you be like, man, you might... Then you're going to keep on scrolling. So really, it's a stumbling block for mm -hmm. a man who's trying to walk for God for real. Well, and I, and, and, and I ain't going to say it's all your fault. Like, the man needs to get that right within themselves yeah, that's not impress y'all yeah. so they they, they they believe it because so many of y'all so many true. men are liking it yeah. you know what I'm saying and yeah. I want to correct one thing that I do there's one young lady I do want to see that way this is my wife <laughs> one young lady that's <laughs> okay. it Behind so up. that is it so look that's, that's what that is the for. last thing I'm gonna ask y'all right <laughs> is what do you say to the the feminist who says that's that's me um Owning my body, I'm proud of my body. Is what do you, what do you say to that woman who? It's not yours. On the opposite, it's, like, is you, it's, it's not yours. Your feminist, yeah, yeah, on, on, on the opposite on, 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 end of it, really has the notion, uh, or is under the impression that when I do these things, it's not for a man to tell me how I'm supposed to dress or what yep. I should do with my body. Yep. But but yeah, I, I I I'm the person who. This is my body. And it's I'm not supposed to your body is not yours. My body is not mine. I rebuke that. In you, the name of Jesus. Your body belongs to the Lord. You have to put his his thoughts about your body come before yours. Mm. Your body doesn't belong to random dudes on the internet yelling at you either. Yeah. it don't belong to me, mm -hmm. but it doesn't belong to you either. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. And I think that idea of like this is mine. This is mine. The 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 true thing about what what feminism was trying to do was to say it's it. not men's body it's mine mm. right that's 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 more true than what used to be yeah but it's not yours either yeah. that's the truth right <laughs> yeah they don't have the right to to tell you what to yeah. do but you don't either yeah you, you have to point your your direction you have to get your direction from god yeah what he wants from you that's it but to piggyback off what you just said it's like we we got to take the bible for what it is we can't water down the word of god because we have our own perception on things that ain't how the world works. So it's, I mean, that ain't how how God works. So like I like you either a feminist or you a Christian, dog. There's no in between. Mm -hmm. That's lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you got to pick you in. Yeah, I mean that's and and what you just said is so real. It's like you got even for even as men, we, you can't be a player and a Christian. Come on, yeah. dudes in the comments saying that though. He said, "I can't lie. I be on the ground lurking." Like, yeah, you they can't do that. Stop, right. stop doing that. Exactly. Like, stop doing that. If if you catch yourself doing it, like like yeah. James said, it's it's impossible for you not to notice. But if you notice that you keep noticing. And you notice your explore page keeps looking like that. That's yeah, on you, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the, the explore page yeah, shows you what you like to look at. Yeah, yeah. They see you scroll and they see you pause. They like, oh, I need to show them more of these because yeah. he yeah. likes that. Or you, you gotta type, control or you yourself. You type your names in. That's another song. thing. Yeah, you looking for song. <laughs> and and just a, as a hint, yeah. people can see what you like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we found out the hard way. I got a couple people can see what you I like. See a little picture, I see their name on everything. Like, <laughs> what is going on? I hear, bro. I say, hey, bro, you out of control. Hey, you bro. Shaking, <laughs> 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 you out of control. We can see what you like, guys. Yeah, we can see what you like. 